watching our Coffee with Craig O 2020 vlog series. I'm your host, Craig Ostrom from Cobble Banker, helping buyers and sellers to navigate our real estate market by giving them great information to make informed decisions. My co-host, Michael Urson, is behind the camera from Urson Videos, creating this great content that you're watching today. My first guest for the Coffee with Craig O 2020 vlog series is Stephen Thompson, manager of our Cobble Banker Fairfield office. Thank you for having me, sir. I got all of that out. Fantastic. I know, right? That was right? fantastic. Are you kidding Started me? Started from the bottom, now I'm here. So <laughs> you were an agent for 17 years. Yes, I was. And then for the past year and a half, you've been a manager. Yes. All right, so big question begs, right? When you go from being a highly successful agent, which we won't go over numbers, and by the way, that can be verified. Why management? So it's funny you ask that. It's a great question. I, you know, I, um, I think it was an evolution of everything uh, playing out for me in real estate. You know, it was an industry that I was really excited about getting involved in uh, from the sales side and had some really exciting experiences for those 17 years that you were talking about. Um, but always knowing that um, that was going to grow into a, a position of management for me at some stage. And I didn't really know when that was. Um, it, I had the opportunity come to me about a year and a half ago. And with that, um, it was exceptional for me and I was super excited about it because it came to my local marketplace. So here in Fairfield, I live in Fairfield, I've been in Fairfield yeah. for 17 years. And uh, so to be able to have the opportunity to have that leadership role in my primary marketplace was super exciting. So, um, you know, that, uh, you know, that track for me felt really comfortable as well as, you know, I've always tried to achieve that life family business balance right I love that word balance because as agents as I know and all of our fellow agents in our office know balance is very hard for agents to achieve so now after 17 years you got the opportunity to have incredible impact amongst agents and I being one of them have been super happy being here and being in this office and dealing with your professionalism your humility and your excitement about the brand which we'll go a little bit into sure uh, what's the five-year plan for your office and and I'm not gonna allow you to hit me with a generic answer and I'm not asking for numbers but what does that look like to you so that's exciting for me because I think that there's um, as a new, as a, a new fresh manager coming into an industry where there's so much dynamic change happening, um, everything from disruption to re-solidification of foundations, uh, we're as a brand going through some really exciting changes um, this year, 2020, and um, and I think that we've launched some really exciting tools uh, that are really going to enhance our experience uh, in the industry as well. Um, but the five-year goal is really about. Um, leveling up production almost to a double. It's an aggressive, it's an aggressive uh, marker, but I feel like we can achieve that with uh, a lot of sustained um, cultural uh, significance that we have here. You know, part of coming into Fairfield Coldwell Banker is, um, is coming into almost a family in a way. Um, there's this collaboration with amongst the agents, there's this team uh, feeling that there's this support, there's this diversity that um, is really exciting to be a part of and I foster that and I really want to grow on that. So not only is it just about productivity and numbers, it's also about that life experience as well mm -hmm. and having it be a place where you're excited to come and be a part of that. And I think it defines to office success, right? Because office success is the, the attitudes of collaborative effort amongst the agents, the manager being a, a, um, uh, say attainable, you know, mm -hmm. that you have access. There we go, found sure. the word. Sure. Having access to a manager such as yourself to help guide. Uh, you know, I know that a few weeks ago I had had an issue uh, with a client and I brought you the email so that we could review it so that I could respond back in a manner that sets a precedent so that later I'm not coming back with, hey, I'm sorry I didn't respond the right way because we know that whether you're buying or selling property, the emotions for our clients are extremely high. Right. And I have to understand that at certain points, we're, we're gonna get hit. And you having that 17 years of directly being out in the field, mm -hmm. which I think puts you, uh, I'm not saying better than other managers, but I think puts you at an advantage because you know what we go through. You're at such a point where, you know, being, a, being an agent wasn't that long ago. Right. And the technology tools have only increased or gotten better since you've become manager, which we'll talk a little bit about. Sure. But the fact that you're, you have that experience helps us as agents to really achieve our goals and the, the office culture has been very positive. And we'll talk a little bit about the big announcement. Um, sure. We'll go into yeah. that in a minute. 
but what was great is that your excitement for the brand, for your agents, your passion for the business hasn't left, that fire is there. And so you brought that from agency to now management. And uh, it's definitely contagious in our office, I must Fantastic. say. Well, well, it's great to hear. You know, I, I also want to, I'll touch on that just a little bit with you. Part of my decision in going into management also was to, to you know, take that accountability on. It's a big role to play. And we have a, a, a large group and a large team in here. And uh, to be accountable to each and every one of those individuals, you know, I wanted to feel a strong value proposition and um, having that local knowledge, having this being my primary market um, in sales prior to and having that relationship between the street and the agent and the office is uh, really important for me and I think it helps me navigate that journey with you as an agent and others and I think that there's um, some real, like I said, value add there and I think that that's uh, was something I felt really great about bringing to the table. Buyer or seller, how has the client experience evolved since you started 17 years ago as an agent? Wow. And here you are well into a year and a half at the Cobalt Banker Fairfield office. Right. How has that experience, the client experience, how has that really evolved? Well, so I think it's definitely ramped uh, to a level. The expectations are very high. Um, the uh, it's it's become an industry where uh, technology is is constantly changing, and um, but the foundation of the of the of the business itself is still there, and very much uh, an important role that we play in the industry, and it's an important part of our business. Getting back to those just basic real estate fundamentals that have been around for years and years and years, decades, those are still very applicable. And I think uh, marrying that with our the, the technology edge that's growing. And here we are today with a podcast. That's incredible, right? Like, yeah. what, that wasn't happening, you know, five years ago, right? And it's a great way for ago, people right? to get to know you in a non-aggressive way because they can either choose to watch or not. Sure. And if they do, they're going to grab some great content. So what was your greatest real estate experience as an agent? What was that moment where you're like, wow, this is incredible. I recognize the power of our, uh, our brand. Yeah, well, that this is, this is something that I'm really... Um, that, I'm, that I feel very strongly about. You know, part of the reason why I've been with the brand for 17 years is um, Cobalt Banker is a global luxury brand in residential real estate. And we don't just say that, we are that. We're in 44 different countries uh, with over 3,000 offices, with over 92,000 agents supporting the brand. And so as you're traveling around the world, you're likely going to run into, you know, brick and mortar, Cobalt Banker, you're going to see an office and that's going to be exciting and very recognizable. The brand is so strong in the industry that um, as a result of that, we have great experiences with people internationally. People, you know, to actually be an international company has a great significance. Connecticut real estate is very difficult still and every advantage that you can have as an agent uh, that we can provide to our sellers, our consumers, um, is important. And having the opportunity to receive a phone call from somebody international mm -hmm. to so inquire tell, about tell, their property. Tell, tell me, me about, about that. that. Tell me about the, this and I think a, it was an Australia experience if I'm correct. This is an, so this is my very first international experience as a sales agent where I was uh, a sales agent representing an antique property and an exceptional property. And um, us as a company, putting that marketing out to the world, right? This gentleman saw this from Sydney, Australia. I was able to capture that lead. He was able to make that, that call. I was able to capture and convert that lead to a physical showing here in our, in our town. And that was really exciting for me as an agent. It was almost like a breakthrough moment where, you know, here you are working for this global, this global brand, and then you have your first global experience. And when that validation happens, it's super, super powerful. And it's a confidence builder. And you know, there yeah. are a lot of agents out there and a lot that work night and day to grab that success. Right. And so the validation is everything. And so a breakthrough is so important. It's something that I think agents and managers need as a self-esteem builder. So I, I think that was really important. So why Cobalt Banker for your entire career? I mean, you've been, you know, seven, yeah. so 18 and a half years? So 17, yeah, uh, well, no, just 17 years okay. uh, total. Um, I think that, you know, um, Cobalt Banker always, as a brand, made perfect sense to me. Mm. It was, there's, there's a foundation of strength. Um, there's, a, there's a history that go back 114 years. That's incredible. There's not many companies that, can, that have been around for 114 years. And, and a specialty a specialty brand. Mm -hmm. um, so the brand has always been very, very significant, very, very strong and easy easy to, to, uh, to convey to my clients. Not only that, um, but as a result of that, there's scale involved in that, right? So we as a company have this large scale 
uh, to be able to be innovative, uh, to be able to market exceptionally, to be able to uh, you know reach people all around the world, mm. uh, have continuity. Yep. I mean, so what it did was it facilitated all these different variables that came together mm -hmm. to give me as a sales agent uh, the tools and the strength and the leadership, you know, um, even in my role as a leader now amongst our team, um, I take that on with a lot of accountability. But they're all up the line, all the way up to our CEO and, and, and above. You know, yeah. uh, uh, we, it's just incredible that uh, they want to see your success. They're there for you as the agent. Um, there's this underlying uh, continual um, growth that's happening. And, and uh, so in our, in our technology driven industry, and in Cobalt Banker, I have a favorite tool. What is your favorite technology tool? So for me, I think I really like our, our Market Quest tool. It's a fantastic tool. Uh, and with that, it's actually kind of, uh, I've always been a data guy. I, I like the stats. I love to the, get inside the market and understand it from the data out, you know. And so that's a tool that facilitates that. It gives us the ability as agents to use this tool to analyze the marketplace for our clients, um, give them visuals as a result of that to help us explain uh, the dynamics of the market and the data. And um, so that, uh, it's always been one of my, my, my favorite tools, you know, it's been really good. That being said, oh my gosh, we've rolled out some really exciting new stuff, totally innovative, and probably the most comprehensive marketing strategy that's Cobalt Banker. It's been fantastic, and yeah. I've, I've, I've loved my time with Cobalt Banker, and I'm, I'm enjoying it and continue to uh, plan to do that. For me, it's the in-touch. I, I love the okay. ability to the functionality that we can yeah. uh, re, uh, resize our website, we can put different tools in there, but we also actually have this great search tool that allows our clients to be able to put a heart and like stuff and at the same time we get a direct notification when our client enters the site and that way it helps us to be in charge of even the, the buying process with our with our clients so we can help them to navigate those those pitfalls as they come along so talk to me about the big news of Cobalt Banker what's going on so um, as, as many of you know it's been happening across the nation we are rebranding um, Cobalt Banker is um, actually rolling out the largest marketing campaign in the history of the brand this year in 2020. Incredible. Super exciting. Really, really exciting. New, new, new uh, logo to go along with new it. New logo, uh, you know, a refreshed identity. Uh, the Cobalt Banker North Star is, uh, is, our, is our new logo. And um, I think that um, it's going to be an exciting ride for 2020 as we see all this roll out really exciting commercial uh, coverage as well as uh, a lot of social assets and regular um, you know direct mail assets etc it's an exciting time to there, be a part there of were two Banker. things that, that that happened when I came to your office one was that uh, I got to meet uh, Daniel Burdick who is a very great facilitator she originally comes from Cardis yeah. and she has been helping a lot of the agents with their personal identity rebranding uh, going over ad copy she's been helping me with some mail campaigns so let's talk a little bit about design and listing concierge and what the value is that has that been for our agents right so that's a really innovative uh, approach to uh, marketing the agent and being focused on the agent and how they want to grow and, 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 and market their business it's a tool that uh, it's really a, it's part of our studio mm -hmm. uh, which is a, uh, a, a the greater uh, umbrella over that that division um, it's our marketing studio it's the largest uh, advertising studio for agents in the nation um, which is really exciting and within that is designed concierge. Danielle is a specialist in so many ways. We love having her in the office and she, she's very active in our in our office as well as knowing all the tools and being a design specialist and, and elevating people when they make their logo changes and brands. Um, that's part of that. You know, that you can come in as an agent and uh, you can discuss a marketing approach for yourself. Um, we can go ahead and create a logo <clears throat> and a tag around that and we can uh, just enhance you uh, and give you the tools to be able to do that. So, you know, from management, you're only as good as the people that surround you. We've got a great admin team of Absolutely. Jen and Margaret. Yeah. We've got Daniel Burdick who helps with the rebranding. We also have our, our training group uh, and Donna Bruno leads that up so that their agents at any skill set or level when they need to revisit or refresh because a lot of the business that we are doing is the prospecting for the prior year what we've built that funnel right. and then getting involved in that process and that time uh, management. So having the listing concierge is a tremendous value when we have a listing because certain 
certain things that we would have to be concerned with last year and the year prior, those things are being taken care of so that we can focus on what we do best, which is managing our clients' properties or helping our buyers to locate and find a great property. And I feel very confident being here at Cobble Banker. Uh, Stephen, I want to really thank you so much for coming on to Coffee with Craig. My pleasure. It's My been pleasure. an honor. Fantastic. Guys, Appreciate thank it. you so much for watching the first episode of our Coffee with Craig O 2020 vlog series. Stay tuned for more great episodes. Thanks so much.